All right, here we are again with another of our ice has found one of the worst decks he's played against in the last month and now he's making me play its challenges um i'm not going to say who this deck is from but i would love to just mention that it plays jade of course it plays jade why would you not play jade with this deck most obvious commander to play with a deck that has two tech units and no chem unit of course you're going to play jade all right, so we're gonna we're gonna give this deck a try. Um, the biggest problem with the deck that I see is you have rifles as your anti-infantry. Your next anti-infantry is Widowmaker, and that is it. You only have rifle Widowmaker as anti-infantry. I could go double harvester, but my tech units aren't even powerful enough to justify going double harvester. I have Widowmaker and Cyborg. Like even if I get my tech units out, I'm not guaranteed to be able to beat my opponents. I am gonna stall, however. The reason I went Rifle first, because I only have Rifle to fight Rifle, if he gets to the middle first, I basically can't push in ever, unless he lets me. Like, he has to let me go 3v2 to ever push in. So it was really important that I get to the middle first. So that's the reason that I went Rifle before Harvester. He's now going Laser Drone, because of course he is. What's in my air tower? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna have to make laser to fight laser drones. I need him to, I need this guy to die. He's not gonna die. If I run him around, yeah, there we go. I need him to die so I can get some pop count back. Given the way my opponent is playing now, I actually think I'm gonna start charging. Like the way the game has played out, it looks to me like I wanna be charging this missile. Alright, so we're going to get first missile pretty easily. And then we're going to make uh, probably a Widowmaker. Because Widowmaker is GOAT, obviously. It looks like a spider, but actually, secretly, it's a GOAT. Probably if he doesn't have two, tech, uh, two harvesters. That's, that's, uh, that's actually really surprising to me. Is he going to make Flame Tank first? Rockworm. Okay. What can I do about this Rockworm? Very little. I guess I could send my lasers back towards my Harvester. Oh, no, he's popping up. All right, let's, uh, let's fight the Rockworm a little bit. Looks like he's trying to chase down my Widowmaker. There is still the Rockworm bug where it blocks you when it's underground, which is bullshit. There's nothing I can do about that. It's just bug. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just it, it's a bug. Uh, I can probably Jade Missile. Oh, can I get them both? Ah. Oh. I'm gonna get neither of them? That's sad. I thought I was gonna maybe get them both there. I think I'm gonna win this fight. Love you too, I have laser and cyborg. Of course I'm gonna win. Okay, well, GG. Deck is great. Love you. Love you too, coach. Alright, so the only map is Battlefield. Um, so I guess we have to keep doing this. We can't beat heavy infantry in the early game. Opponent is, opponent is blind double half. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the best strategy is against blind double half with my deck. My my instincts tell me that my tech units aren't going to win a tech mirror because they're not very powerful. So I probably don't want to get into a tech mirror. I probably don't want to be double halving. This is the worst attempt to stall <laughs> I've ever seen. Talon. I don't really have answer to Talon. Like, I have Phantom and I have uh, Laser. And neither of those are very good against Talons. So, this is going to get awkward very quickly. We get first missile, but our deck is just ass against him. The only answer I have to rifle is rifle, so I have to make rifle to counter his rifle. At least until we get to tech unit. I'm not really going to get to tech unit on one half. This is looking pretty bad. Maybe I do have to go double half? Just so I can make something? Like, we're not even close to a, to a tech unit. We're like, 
50 tip away from a Widowmaker still, and that's a Widowmaker. It's not like a game changing tech unit. I feel like my only chance here is that his tech unit is somehow an air unit that I can kill with my Phantom. I don't know how else I win. Maybe he just doesn't make a tech unit? How has he still not got a tech unit? Is it a mammoth? Yeah, that makes sense. That actually makes that's the only thing that would be this slow. I could never win once this mammoth was out. Like it was over if he wins that missile. I often, like, I talk about it a lot, but I can't believe when people have decks like this. Like, why would you have the downside of two tech units in your deck, which is two units you can't use for most of the game, and then not even have them be tech units that will definitely win you the game if you get them out? It's, like, so confusing to me. It's like, oh, I made it to tech finally, and I can use my whole deck, and I still just lose to not tech, because my tech units aren't powerful enough. Like, how do you, how do you ever come to the conclusion that this is what your deck should look like? All right, we're gonna go double half because we actually can't beat shocks. Like we have no outs to shock trooper until Widowmaker. We're gonna have to go two harvester. I think we probably just lose though. That feels most likely. He has sling as well. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he have sling? I believe we will lose this game before we even make it to our tech units. That seems very likely. Like, well, maybe we'll get one or two tech units out. It won't be super relevant, though. Oh, who knows? Who knows? You know, I, I say that a lot. I often expect my opponents to play in optimal ways, and they just don't. I get people saying that to me a lot. They're always like, oh, I always say you're going to lose, and you win. And I'm like, yeah, because I expect my opponents to, you know, make sensible plays. And then when they don't, I'm confused. So maybe my opponent just won't make sensible plays and I'll end up winning. Let's find out. Damn, son. It's the most aggressive MLRS I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit, bro. Yeah, fair play though. My taking it is dead. Um, yeah, this is looking bad. We're running out of time here. I think we're dead. We're running very low on time. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's uh, that's kind of why I say I can't win these games. <laughs> All right, we already played this guy, and he had he just went like rifles into laser drone. I think I don't remember what else he had. I'm pretty sure I won by getting my Widowmaker out against him. We can definitely just play a chill rifle game in the early game. Alright, here's double half. Again, I just don't feel confident that my double half will ever beat their double half, so I'm probably not going to do it. But the game plan is to pop cap me. Yeah, the game plan appears to now be to pop cap. The name is Jade. Well, you know what, buddy? You're using laser drones. I'm not sure that you want to get into a pop capping situation. Oh, he's already got his Widowmaker. That's scary. What can I do against his Widowmaker? Is there anything? I, I have no units that beat a Widowmaker. <laughs> Does Cyborg beat a Widowmaker? I guess we'll find out pretty soon. I probably have to kill this now. I don't want to actually get my harvester. 
Yeah, I don't know if I can beat a Widowmaker. All my units are, are kind of terrible. It doesn't look like it, does it? It looks like Widowmaker is gonna be is gonna be GG for me. What a time to be alive! <laughs> Having a deck that loses to Widowmaker. How did I beat him last game? I guess he didn't go double half. Yeah, he just didn't go double half. He didn't make a bunch of Widowmakers. Hmm. Yeah, again, like I just I baffle. What does what what mind what mind creates this deck that can beat nothing? Like <laughs> it's literally a deck that can beat nothing. Um what do I do now? Uh, oh yeah, I remember he made the rockworm last time and I was able to kill the rockworm. All right. Well, I can't be Widowmaker, so I'm done here. Mission I think we have to go blind double harvester. I don't, because we know we can't beat him making Widowmakers. Like our previous strategy clearly didn't work. So making two harvesters and spamming Jade missiles maybe is my best chance to win. But honestly, I'm not sure. Like this, this deck is so horrible. This deck is truly uh, next level bad. This time he hasn't gone too hard. So he plays me, he goes one half, he loses. He plays me again, he goes blind double half, he wins. So for game three, his strategy is to go one half. That's a really weird choice. I would think that you would use the strategy that won <clears throat> instead of the strategy that previously lost. Like, doesn't that make more sense to you guys? Why would you take your winning strategy and then revert back to your losing strategy? To be fair, I've changed strategies after losing, so maybe now his new strategy will beat my new strategy. I guess we will find out. I've never heard the laser drone say that before. Did he say, like, you're an enemy of the Brotherhood? That's definitely my first time hearing him say that. Alright, well, I know he has Rockworm, so he can definitely beat Widowmaker. Maybe I can Jade Missile the Rockworm. It doesn't kill it. Okay, that's not good for us. That seems extremely bad for us. Oh my god, it actually died? Bro, what the fuck? Dude, Rockworm blocking is so stupid. This bug is so outrageous. What a stupid game. <laughs> what an incredibly stupid game. I feel like I'm playing with two hands tied behind my back on this one. He has Rockworm as well. Why does he keep making Widowmakers? Just make a Rockworm, bro. Yeah, here comes the Rockworm. I guess I can make Laser Drone against Rockworm instead of Cyborg. That would be cheaper. I don't understand why Jade players, why tech players play Jade so much. It doesn't even kill the enemy tech unit. Like, I assumed they played it because it was a nuke thing that you could use in tech mirrors, but it doesn't even kill a lot of tech units. So, what's the point? Unit 
literally just like a game of it's like a gold league game like i actually feel like i'm playing in gold league right now Tell you what man, it is hard to win a game when you do not have good units. That is truly the most difficult challenge in Rivals, is when your units are just all garbage. You are victorious. Three, two, one. New mission received. We're ready to serve. Alright, let's see what this guy's got going on. One half bike opening. All right, cool. We'll just block the bikes for a bit. If he's opening bike. He's probably playing chuggy. In fact, he's playing Jade. Also leans into that. Now he's got a buggy. Interesting. Surprised he opened bike instead of buggy. If he had it. Oh lag. Yeah, bro. I, I see you trying to go for my harvester. Because you're a rival player. I understand. I understand it's in your blood to attempt to go for the harvester. Oh, so many buggies. I guess I can go laser drone. It's not great against buggy though. It still loses 1v1 to them. But I'm obviously happy to stall. Flamer. I can't kill a flamer. I literally cannot kill a flamer. My deck is incapable. I'm just hoping to distract one of his units with the uh, with the lasers because I have no no way to fight the flamer. This is me just stalling. Like I can't actually kill the flamers. I'm just waiting until I can get a Widowmaker. This is so dumb. Oh my god, I hate people who do this. I, I actually, I can feel, I can feel my... <laughs> I can feel the erectile dysfunction, <laughs> like, coming on from playing, playing this game. <laughs> All right, we made it to tech units. Good job, team. I actually think we might win from here. Now we have this Widowmaker. That's pretty hard for him to beat. Shit. Oh, nice block, nice block. This is such a great example of why the pop cap system is terrible, by the way. Like, this game, such a good example of why the pop cap system sucks. Because the only reason I've been able to hold on to tech is because he had two flamers. He made two flamers to fight my, um, to fight my infantry, and then I had no infantry left, so I just spammed air. And he couldn't make enough air to, he couldn't make enough bikes to counter it because he had two flamers. Like, once he ran out of flamers, he actually won the missile. So yeah, I think this game is a great example of why the podcast system is trash. We did end up losing the missile anyway, but... Like, it wasn't that bad, right? Like, we made it to our tech units. We stalled forever by just spamming laser drones. Also, why two-pad maps are stupid. <laughs> like, this is, a, this is also why two-pad maps are stupid, because we were able to just absolutely spam the two pads forever with air. Which is something that happens a lot on two pad maps and basically never on three pad maps. His deck must just be full of cheap units. I haven't seen anything more than 30 cost. So he has like nothing that can actually kill a Widowmaker reasonably. Yeah, I don't think you can beat I don't think you can beat infinite Widowmakers. 
Like at this point, the Widowmaker is so efficient for its cost. Like once you've opened the tech lab, Widowmaker's stats are actually pretty solid for an 80 cost unit. 80 is not that much. You think like an APC is 90. Get some more cyborgs though. I need to be careful with these cyborgs because he's going to probably try and jade missile them. Not with some flamers. I got Widowmaker though. Should be fine. Oh, no, you can't miss all the Widowmaker. Shouldn't can't miss all the units on the move. I didn't even have to select it to dodge. I just dodged by accident there. Alright, GG. That'd be good. Alright, same guy, but he switched to Solomon. So I looked at his deck after that game because I didn't see very many units from it. And he had Giga Cannon and Tick Tank in his deck. So it's not like he was low on outs for Widowmaker. He just didn't use them. Because it feels like he's switching to Solomon because he just lost to tech units, but that's not... Like, he could have just used the units in his deck. I don't know why. He didn't need to switch to a different commander to beat those tech units. He could have just used the units that were in his deck. Rhino? Can I beat Rhino? I don't think I can beat Rhino. That's pretty bad for me. I'm going to have to go double harvester and try and out tech him, which is, as we've discussed previously, basically impossible because my tech units are garbage. Um, but I have no choice because I cannot beat Rhino. So I'm always going to lose first missile even against double half. Not only am I going to lose first missile, I'm going to get crushed. So I'm going to be really far behind in this game. Like I have nothing that can even remotely contest a Rhino. Even once I get into my tech lab, the best thing I have is Cyborg, which is not amazing against Rhino. It's just like fine. Yeah, this deck really is a masterpiece of garbage. Like this is, this is truly one of the worst decks I've played in a very long time. Like it's just bad versus everything. And it's difficult to make a deck that is truly bad versus everything. Actually, you know what? It's decent versus air. I take it back. This deck is okay versus air. It's not bad versus everything. I can never beat Predator Sniper. <laughs> I mean, he's double half to spam Solomon, I guess. But I can't. I can't win even against the units in his deck. He doesn't need. He doesn't need to to Solomon to beat me. I already can't win. That was a terrible Iron Cannon, bro. Yeah, I already can't win. Like this is impossible. His deck is his deck 100%. Like his deck will beat mine every single game we ever play. It is impossible for me to win this matchup. Yeah, I mean it's not even close. Like it's not even remotely close. I don't even have a chem unit to make my jade work, so there's just nothing I can do. It's completely impossible. I think I picked the wrong deck for unranked. Yes, out of the two decks, now that I've played this one, this is clearly worse. Because the other one at least, the other one is triple tech, and I think the cheapest unit is 60 cost. But at least the other one can go blind double harvester and have a chance of winning a game by getting to its tech units. This deck actually just, this feels like one of the worst decks I've ever played. Like I don't understand how this deck is ever supposed to win a game. It's just terrible versus everything. I just, I'm just, I'm just baffled. I have so few outs to anything. Yeah, I just have to wait until my tech units now because I can't kill these flamers. Oh, wait, 
I wonder if the guy that I got this deck from, I wonder if he like actually plays this deck regularly or if this was like a one-time deal. All right, here comes the flip boys. Flippers! GG easy. <laughs> GG easy. Do I know any games similar to Rivals on Mobile? No, there is nothing like Rivals on Mobile. Yeah, but like the guy doesn't know you're joking, guys, because he has no idea what that game is. So he might just look it up and then be like, what is this? This is nothing like it. Like, most people aren't going to have a clue what Rush Royale is. So if you tell them it's like Rivals, they'll probably go check it out and then be confused that you said it was like Rivals. We need Dawn of War 2 on mobile. Would that work? I mean, to be honest, World War Armies is basically a company of heroes on mobile, and it actually does work quite well. I enjoy that game quite a lot. If it didn't have a load of bots, I might have kept playing it. Well, it has pay to win as well, which puts me off. But if it wasn't like bots and pay to win, I might have played it more. Um, so yeah, if you can if you can have Company of Heroes kind of work on mobile, I think you could probably have Dawn of War kind of work on mobile. Oh, Rhino again? Come on, man. The problem, I, I was going to say like, oh, why can't I just get a game where my opponent doesn't have a unit I can't beat? But then I remembered that all units are units I can't beat. So it is impossible to have a game where my opponent does not have a unit I can't beat because there aren't any units I can beat. My opponent's deck would have to be like rifles for me to not have a problem in the early game. Like just riflemen. Maybe like rifle missile as their entire early game. Rifle missile quad tech I could beat in the early game. Although having said that, I did just beat this guy in the early game, so get fucked. Unlucky Super Baz. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say beat though. Beat isn't really the word. I held the pads briefly in the time when it was most relevant. I definitely was not winning the fights. I was getting smashed in all the fights. I just won the missile before it mattered. Now I have to defend my Harvest R. Might as Widowmaker, I guess. What do I make next? Do I make Cyborg? Cyborg Widowmaker is not even... It's just... Ah, oh, I mean, honestly. I know I've complained about it a bit this run already, but it just doesn't make any sense. This isn't even a good combo. Like, Cyborg Widowmaker is not a combo. Like, it would make more sense to have Cyborg Flame Tank, because then at least the Cyborg shoots up and the Flame Tank kills infantry quickly. Instead, you've got two anti-air tech units for some reason. It just doesn't make any sense, chat. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't understand how he's come to the conclusion to play these units together. Like, again, I hate to harp on about it, but what World War Armies did was excellent. World War Armies had pop cap that increased as you tier up, which gives you an incentive to go up in tiers, and then a global pop cap and a delete button. Yeah, World War Armies had really good. World War Armies had really good upkeep system. It was so much better than Rivals. The Rivals, the Rivals pop cap system is terrible. You're out of servitors? Do you mean the skulls that distract the enemies, Nara? Those things are the goat. Servitors are OP, yeah. Serv servitors are insane in that game. Alright, what are we doing? What's Scout up to? One half. He has a Shatterer. I, what? <laughs> Anyone who's playing a Shatterer is playing Slingshot. That's almost always the case. So I'm just going to go double half here because I know I'm not going to be able to beat the Shatterer Slingshot in the early game. I don't know if I can beat it late game. I think this thing will be a Cyborg. Alright, show me your Slingshot, bro. No Sling? Surely, surely my eyes deceive me. No Shotty Sling? I don't, I literally don't believe you. Sir, stop pretending you don't have Slingshot in your deck. Sir, please. No one is buying this bullshit. <laughs> no one believes you, Scout. 
No one believes you. Show me your slingshot. This guy is trying really hard to convince me he doesn't have a slingshot. Oh, I was thinking of server skulls, yeah. Spoiler alert, server skulls are really good in that game. Alright, he actually might not have a slingshot. Which is baffling to me. I mean, I'm very glad about it, but also baffling. Yeah, I'm not going to give you tactical advice unless you ask for it, Nara, in that game, because I would not want... I would not want someone giving me tactical advice if I was playing a game of that nature. But if you do want tactical advice, let me know, and I can tell you what I remember was good in that game. I'm going to have a cyborg here. I can't believe he didn't have slingshot. All right, we're going to get another win, boys. Another W on the board. Let's go. I think that was seven. Seven wins. With one of the worst decks I've ever played. It's not a bad not a bad win rate, honestly. I'll take it. I'll take seven on that deck. That's pretty good. Crate challenge also gives me a bunch of these blue crates, which means I get loads of diamonds. I'm at 577. Up to 660. Insane. Staving off that repurchase that I'll have to do when I run out of diamonds. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next time.